Out of everything gaming related that's came out over the past couple years, even the newer consoles that hit the market, nothing brought me more excitement than College Football Revamped, a mod for a PlayStation 3 licensed football game. We haven't seen a new college football game in practically a decade now, but the NCAA Football 14 mod called College Football Revamped for the PlayStation 3, later ported to the Xbox 360, and playable on the PC via emulation of the PS3 game, is a phenomenal mod that brings the game forward to the modern era, and while obviously it still runs natively on PlayStation 3 hardware, and because of that the graphics are not going to be you know, super photorealistic to what you would see in a more modern football game, the PS3 is an acceptable console with moderately good graphics and overall a phenomenal gameplay experience that makes college football revamp something that myself and other fans hold very near and dear to their heart and a game that still has its mod being regularly updated with version 20 even having came out here in 2023. So if you're not familiar with college football revamped for some reason, it is really just a modernized take on NCAA football 14 that includes up-to-date rosters, uniforms, teams, and the entire roster, as well as having modernized plays. There's completely new plays in this game that were not in the previous games, as well as updated AI to kind of work around that. And it just makes overall a great gameplay experience that feels like an entirely wholly new game. And something that I talked about last year was how the rosters from NCAA Football 14 and its draft class at the end of each dynasty season could be imported into Madden 25. I thought that was a really cool feature, and it was something that I was playing around a little bit. Now, I had those original Madden 25 rosters, which are coming up on a decade old, but I was aware of the fact that somebody was selling, like on eBay or on Etsy, updated rosters for Madden 25. I didn't want to spend the money to get my hands on them, and honestly, you don't even know how accurate they were going to be. It's a fan-made roster, so I didn't play around with actually using a modernized roster on Madden 25. It's you know, not necessarily the best Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 era football game that would typically probably be said to be Madden 12, but it's an okay one, and because it has that cross-functionality with NCAA Football 14, or in this case, College Football Revamped, it was an exciting proposition, but something I hadn't looked into any further until recently when I came across a mod that's been released for Madden 25. Now, they've called this a few different things. Um, They've called it Pro Football 22 for a little while, and ultimately, I think it's currently being called Madden Rebuilt, but Overall, I would just call it Madden 25 Revamped because it's kind of a good add-on to college football revamp. Now, it definitely has not had the development time or the added features that you see in college football revamp. This is much more of a mod to just kind of modernize Madden 25 a little bit, give it a bit of a facelift, give it modern rosters for free. You don't need to pay to have the updated rosters. I thought that was kind of crazy in the first place. Essentially, what Madden 25 revamped gets you is updated stadiums, updated team names and logos in the case of something like the Washington Commanders, which now have their proper logo and team name. They've moved teams, you know, like the Los Angeles Rams have been relocated from St. Louis, as well as the rosters again being updated. So it's not nearly as much of an overhaul as you saw in college football revamp, but something that goes very well hand in hand with college football revamp because again you can take that draft class at the end of the season you can import it into madden 25 revamped as i'm calling it and you can have a complete gameplay experience now people are obviously doing this on modern madden on madden 23 you can import a draft class and people are creating accurate draft classes but you're not able to actually play those players through their season and actually have them acted out before you go to import it. And in addition to that, one of the cool things I think about sports games in general is just kind of the career mode. And I think that that's been lacking in some of these newer sports games. It's kind of moved to a more of a narrative focus. NCAA Football 14 has a road to glory mode that is fully functional in college football revamp. You can play on those newer teams, so you can do a road to glory mode, and then you can import it into Madden 25's career mode, which isn't really a career mode per se it's a connected franchise where you're just kind of playing as your created player and it's not nearly as good of a true superstar mode like we used to have in say madden 08 but it is there and that is a functional aspect of being able to import this forward as well 
If you've never heard of either of these mods, I recommend you check out College Football Revamped first. But if you're already playing College Football Revamped on your PS3, 360, or via emulation on your PC, then I recommend that you check this one out as well for Madden 25 and be able to import those files forward and keep moving your save data from the college level to the professional level. Now, downloading and installing this mod is a little bit more complicated than College Football Revamped. Essentially, as far as I could find, whether you wanted to play this on PC or not you had to patch the game on PC I was not able to patch the game on my ps3 which is how I would usually patch college football revamp with that part a and B installer if you're familiar with that this just gave me one file which exceeded the fat 32 size that I was able to use for a standard patch and for that reason I couldn't seem to get it to install the patch on the ps3 instead I had to patch the game on the ps3 emulator on my PC even though admittedly my PC is not fast enough to actually run the game on the ps3 emulator it was able to patch the game on the ps3 emulator so it's a little bit more involved to set up and I will have a video down in the description linking to a tutorial that I watched on how to set that up thank you guys for watching I'm Bailey and I will see you in the next video